non-farm employment data has improved by more than was expected, with the figure beating the forecast of 167,000 by 8,000. Global indices took off on the back of this, with the FTSE 100 trading 50 points higher from the low of the day. It is already being suggested that this month's figure is not the catalyst that's leading indices higher. The downward revision of last month's figure from 165k to 149k perhaps played a more significant role, as the fear of an imminent withdrawal of QE by the Fed has been stifled. In Governor Mervyn King's final monetary policy committee meeting, the Bank of England voted against restarting its bond buying and left interest rates unchanged. The ECB also kept interest rates at record lows. Looking ahead, next Tuesday will be the first day of the German Constitutional Court ruling on the European bailout legality. Investors will also be looking towards next week's G8 meetings. Amongst many subjects being talked about, currency wars, global QE, bond purchases in Syria are sure to be the main vocal points. I'm Jess Coe and that was the 60 Second Market Update.